I haven't preheated the car at all. You can see it's cold in the parking lot. It's not as cold, at, cold as it's outside, like minus 22, but it's still cold enough to freeze almost everything. So I'll just get into my car. My car is fully asleep and there you go. It just woke up. That's why the screen is still not active. There you go. It just turned itself on. So right now there's no, literally no preconditioning that has been done. It's 2.31. I'm going to start my journey now to the supercharger. I'm not going to um, click here and navigate to the supercharger just because if I do this, it'll trigger and pre start preconditioning the battery. And I don't want that. I want to show you guys what, it hap what happens if you don't precondition your car and how much money it would cost you. And most importantly, how much time it would cost you. So it's 2.32. I should be at the superchargers by 3 o'clock. All right, so we made it to the superchargers. As you can see, it's minus 21 degrees Celsius and it's even uh, colder outside. I think it's around minus 23 right now. Um, we haven't preheated the car at all. The battery, it looks like I th I'm going to do the exact same test tomorrow with the, uh, when the temperature is the exact same. Uh, I think I have around 18% of battery life remaining. Uh, I can't see the rest 5% uh, just because uh, the car is probably reserving that just in case. So I'm going to plug my car in. I'm going to set the limit back to 90. Um, and I'm going to see how long it takes. So it's 303. I'm going to plug it in when it's 304. And I'm going to start count counting my time then. And I'm going to also see how much it costs. It's not going to cost as much as this. Uh, this is from my last video when I charged it to 100%. But let's see how much it costs. So 304, I'm going to plug it in right now. The charges are frozen. Okay, so it's blue, turn green, so it's charging. All right, so we're starting with 23 kilowatts. So that's that's low comparing to my low state of charge. So usually when it's like this low and I have preconditioned it, it's around 80 to 90 kilowatts. We'll see tomorrow when we uh, repeat the exact same tests, right, uh, tests as of now. So 13%, I'm gonna see when this blue thing goes away and uh, we can calculate of what, how much energy the Tesla was reserving. Yeah, let's just wait for this to go away and I'll show you guys. It says 30 minutes. I don't think it's gonna be 30 minutes. I, I think it's gonna be longer and we'll also see how much it costs too. So basically this was at 25% and when when that blue line went away, it turned 29. So, and the, yeah, so it came back for a second again and the snowflake icon is gone. Uh, my charge rate has increased. So I guess the battery is getting warmer and warmer. Um, it looks like, yeah, so I guess it was reserving like four to 5% because I saw that blue um, bar reducing in size as well so that probably like i'm guessing a maximum of six percent that was reserving for the cold so when you go to the climates on the top right you can see that the battery icon and that snowflake uh, sign so that probably that basically means that your car is being preconditioned and the supercharger probably forces the tesla battery to start preconditioning or at least start the battery heater so it uh, the supercharger can deliver a faster charge rate all right, so it's four o'clock right now. Almost 56 minutes is what it took for the Tesla to go to 80%. It cost me about $11.76. This is highly unlikely. This is what happens if you don't precondition your battery and don't warm up your battery. Let's see how long it takes for it to go to 90% and then we'll repeat the exact same test tomorrow and I'll, I can show you guys the difference in time and money that you can expect if you do not precondition your battery. All right, so charging is fully complete, 90%. It, it's 4.14 p.m., so it took about one hour, 10 minutes to completely charge up the car, and it cost us about $14.28, and we gained about 37 kilowatts. So we'll compare this with tomorrow when we come back here with the exact same conditions but we only the, the one thing that we change is that we precondition the battery all right so we are on a brand new day it's 1 45 p.m i plan to get out at around 2 30 so i'll precondition the car for about 45 minutes when i turn on the preconditioning button you can see on the top right corner there's a battery symbol that pops up indicating that the battery heater has been turned on it's 1 45 p.m and the cabin temperature is around minus 9 degrees celsius See how fast the Tesla warms up. 
To get the most accurate results for this test, I'm trying to keep all of the conditions constant, including the weather. So today, it's around minus 23 degrees Celsius, just like yesterday. So it's 1.52 p.m. right now. In just about seven minutes, the car's interior temperature goes from negative 9 degrees Celsius to positive 28 degrees Celsius. This is why I absolutely love electric cars in the winter. The heat is almost instant, unlike a gas car, where in seven minutes, you'd still be getting cold air. So we've been preconditioning the Tesla at maximum heat for almost 45 minutes. That should definitely make the battery warmer than what it was yesterday. We'll go down to a parking lot and start our journey towards the Tesla supercharger. So right after I got into the car, the snowflake sign just went away and the preconditioning part of the battery also went away. So if I click on the battery right now, it says it's 27%. I'll head to the supercharger right now and I'll have close to the same range that I had yesterday hopefully so let's just click this supercharger so you can see that the preconditioning has started here again so the battery heated sound that's in the app probably has turned back on again so let me go back and check so you can see as I route towards the supercharger the battery heating symbol on the top right comes on so it's 2 37 p.m. right now my journey to the supercharger is around 19 minutes so It'll take a little bit longer than that just because we might um, run into rush hour and also I, um, I need to take a detour. Uh, so I'm going to be preconditioning the entire time that I'm going there just because my GPS is routed to the supercharger and this preconditioning sign is not going to go away soon, especially considering it's minus 24 outside right now. And if I move around, even if I take a different route, the Tesla will always keep on preconditioning the battery so that when I reach the supercharger, I get the maximum amount of charge from the superchargers. So there's another thing that I noticed is that driving the car around is much more smoother just because unlike yesterday, I have the full bar of acceleration and the full bar of regenerative braking that is available. Unlike yesterday when the battery was super cold and I didn't have the full bar of regenerative braking like I do right now. So we made it to the supercharger. The car has been preconditioning for, I preconditioned the car for almost 45 minutes before getting out. And then again, the entire trip, uh, I started the trip at around 2.37 and now it's 3.16. So it's been, the car's been preconditioning the battery for a long, long time. I'm going to cancel this right now. And when I cancel this, it'll stop preconditioning the battery. We arrived with 16% battery life. And if I click here, you can see that there's no blue bar here. The, the battery is 100% warm and it has all the available energy that I can use. Even when I was driving, like I showed you guys, I had a lot of regenerative braking. Like I had the full bar of regenerative braking and the full bar of um, acceleration that was available to me. So we have 16%. Uh, yesterday we arrived with 15%, but to be honest, this is even less than yesterday, just because yesterday there was a blue bar, which uh, had a little bit of energy, which we got as we supercharged. But today we have 16%, like the real battery life is 16%. Whereas yesterday, the real battery life, I would predict to be around 18 to 19%. So 317, I'm gonna start exactly when it's 318 and uh, I'll show you guys how long it takes, uh, how much money it costs us, and especially how much time it'll take you to supercharge when you precondition your battery properly. All right, so it's 3.18 p.m. I'm gonna get out and plug in my car. Hopefully this isn't frozen, not frozen. Get this out, plug it in. There you go, the blue will turn into green, which will indicate the charging has started. Let's go and see what we're getting today. So immediately you can see the difference. We're getting about 83 kilowatts and this is constantly increasing. So I'll see what the top uh, charging speed that we can get. Uh, I'm guessing around, we, we can get around 90 to 93, but let's see. All right, so it shows that the time remaining is about 35 minutes. Uh, we're at 18%, uh, 92, 93 kilowatt, 94, 95, 96. Oh, I think we're going to hit 100. There you go. We're getting about 100 kilowatts, 103, 104, 105. Yeah, this is just, this just keeps on increasing. So I'm going to keep this. Oh, it says the time remaining is 35 minutes. And I'm, I'm, I think it's going to take 35 minutes or maybe a maximum of 40 minutes today. We start at 318. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping the temperature and everything stable like yesterday and you guys can see the difference for yourself in this video. All right, so it's 333 right now, it's 
I've ha- I've had to switch off the climate controls just because it's super hot in the car right now. Uh, the battery got hotter and you can see it's it's minus 14 degrees Celsius around the car. That's how hot the battery is getting. Even though it's like minus 24 outside right now, the area around the car is minus 14. And inside, like the interior temperature is around 15 degrees Celsius that I've checked from the app. So that's why I had to switch this off because my car was getting super warm when this was on. So I had to switch that off. I wanted to keep this constant to see uh, how much time and money it would cost me. But at the same time, I thought, wait, I don't really need this. And you wouldn't either when you charge and precondition your battery just because your battery is warm enough to heat up the interior and the exterior of the car. So I shut this off and we're at $5 right now and doing about 53 kilowatts, 400 kilometers an hour, and we've gained about 18 kilowatts of energy. 80%, it's 351 p.m., so 33 minutes after uh, when after we started charging, we started charging at 318 p.m., so 80% charge, and I was just looking at the energy consumption chart. Uh, it costs us about $8.82 to charge until here and we're getting about a 34 kilowatt of charge rate There's two other Teslas who just came in and charging So the charging rate has reduced a little bit, but again, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as yesterday and when there was no cars so this is actually doing pretty well i i think we can uh my goal to charge the whole car by 40 minutes is still on point i think we might be done by four o'clock because the time remaining is eight minutes and this is pretty much in sync with this time as well and it's not off uh with 80 percent battery life or 81 percent battery life I'll, I'll show you guys the energy consumption chart this is how far my Tesla can go. So 138 kilometers today at this weather. So right now I'll show you guys the weather too. So it's it's minus 23 degrees Celsius right now in Winnipeg. So that's the weather right now. It's, it's extremely cold. And this is how far you can expect your Tesla. Wait, where's the energy? Yeah, so this is how far you can expect your Tesla to go in the city. Uh, if I'm driving like this, like I, I'm not, I wasn't driving too fast. I was driving a moderate amount, but not too slow either. So my energy consumption chart is a little bit higher. But if you were to drive economically and not uh, floor the pedal at every light, uh, you might be able to push this to around 150. But that's about it. Like that's how far uh, you can go with 80%, 82% right now. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the exact same things that I showed you guys at 90% and what you can expect and all the differences that you can expect if you precondition your car all right it's four o'clock it says calculating which pretty much means it's almost done charging complete four o'clock it took about 42 minutes compared to yesterday it's all uh, yesterday's almost one hour so 90 percent charge everything zero 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 we gained about 36 kilowatt hour of energy it cost about ten dollars and 71 cents so almost forty uh, four dollars less than yesterday so not only is it a little bit cheaper most importantly you're saving a lot of time compared to yesterday um so that like even the even the money at the, the four dollars is going to add up over time if you didn't really precondition your battery in the winter uh with 90 percent battery life i told you guys i'm gonna show you okay so with 90 percent battery life and when it's like minus 24 degrees right now i think let's check again so web refresh this all right, so it looks like it's still minus 23. It, it is going to get a little bit colder. Extreme cold warning. So with this extreme cold weather here in Winnipeg, you get about 154 kilometers of range in the city. In the highway, I'm gonna make a different video about that in the highway, how much you can expect to get in the highway with this extreme temperature when you have 90% battery life or more, depending on what I make on the video as you can see uh the temperature around the car is a little bit warmer than outside it's minus 13 degrees but charging is completed right now so the charge rate is zero so the battery is going to start cooling down right now and it's gonna start getting cold so i'm gonna turn on the climate controls 
that's all we had for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you like my video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that bell notification button to get notified when I upload a new video. And if you have friends living in cold climate and extreme temperatures like this, and they're planning to buy a Tesla, send this video over to them. Or if you have a family member who's planning to buy a Tesla in Winnipeg or in colder climate cities like this, or maybe in Norway, I don't know, Share this video with them so that they are aware of all the things that they can expect when they buy their brand new Tesla. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.